Hello, hello, and welcome to Healthy Life with Kimmy. Well, hey guys, today we are talking about fat shaming. Have you ever been fat shamed? For those of you who do not know, I'm just on a healthy journey and I'm sharing it here with you. You can feel safe to share your information here with me and our community. And it's a lot of things that I talk about. It's just overall good for my mental health. And it's helping me as I continue to make changes in my body, in my mind, and actually what I'm eating too. It all goes together. So fat shaming, let's talk about what it is first. And then I'm going to tell you some things that have happened to me. And let's, you know, let's just kind of talk it out really quick. So fat shaming is, is actually the act of discriminating against somebody because they're overweight or, over, or, or obese. Okay. And this could take the form of teasing, bullying, derogatory comments about somebody's weight or appearance. Has that ever happened to you? And don't be in denial. I asked some of my friends about this. And at first they were like, oh, no, never happened to me. No, nope, no, nope, never, never. I, I actually interviewed a few friends for this. So I'm not going to share their comments with you. But I just want you to know I didn't just randomly pick this topic. It was something on my heart because I have been. I'm getting ready to share that with you. So has anyone ever teased you, bullied you, made comments about your weight or your appearance? And again, I want you to really think back on this. Did it happen when you were a teenager? When you were five to eight years old? Were you even younger? Your first memory was somebody talking about you, you know? And you didn't even know what it was because this is a new term for us, fat shaming, within the last 10 years. Before people just name called, but now we actually have a title for it. So it also can include excluding people from social situations or activities because they're overweight the larger child is always or often the last one picked for a sporting game you know i can remember when i was playing um dodgeball in school i wasn't the first one picked because i was chunkier i wasn't the first one picked i'm sure i'm not the only one that's happened to there are other kids where they play in sports, baseball, something where you got to run or, you know, whatever. And they don't pick the larger kid first. They pick the more fit kid first. So that's a form of fat shaming. It really is. And if you know a child that they're in that situation and it's happening to, it might be good to have a conversation with them. How are they feeling? This is the time to kind of nip these things in the bud. As you start getting older and older and you don't address these topics, it follows you through life. So I want to talk about, um, for myself, what has that looked like being fat shamed, okay? It may sound something like, and it has happened to me, oh, you have the cutest face. Okay, but what about the rest of me? <laughs> okay, you know, it's a whole body here, right? And they don't say it meaning to be hurtful. But now that I'm older, able to process, and I knew even then, but I again, I didn't put a title to it. You have the cutest face, if only. If only what? If only you would lose some weight. If only you would lose some weight. Like you're not the whole package because, you know, I'm sure you've heard that before. And, and I, today we're talking about fat shaming, but this shaming that I'm talking about could come in any different shape or size. It could be, oh, you're so pretty for whatever color skin tone you have, okay? Oh, you're so pretty for a blank child, darker skinned, lighter skinned. Oh, your hair is so, you have good hair. You have good hair, unlike that hair, you know? So this shaming that I'm talking about, or you're so skinny, you need to eat. Even that, I'm being more aware of that. Even comments about that, oh girl, you're so skinny. That, that could be a problem for that person. It really could be a problem for that person. We don't know what can trigger somebody. Just like a sense, I could be sensitive 
and I have been sensitive about my weight, someone else that is skinny can equally be sensitive about theirs. And it's something that we just kind of joke about and take it for granted. Oh, somebody could be tall and slim, you know, or bigger, whatever. And it's just not cool. So we really have to be more socially aware of everyone, everybody. Thin people, skin people, lighter skin, darker skin, long hair, short hair, good hair, straight hair, bad hair, nappy hair, kinky hair. You get my point? Seriously. Seriously, we really have to because little comments that we make can affect people and you really don't know how it's going to. I do have another story I want to relate regarding this fat shaming. So I was talking to somebody one day. She's telling me a story and she, it was a sad story actually, something about one of her family members. And she tells me, don't be offended by what I'm about to say. Don't be offended by what I'm about to say. Have you ever had someone say that to you? They already know what they about to say is offensive. Why say it? (laughs) Why? So the person says, yeah, this tragedy happened, da, 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 da. And she says, my sister used to be your size, but now she's a size two. Why are you comparing me to your sister? Why? Why was that even necessary? What the conversation should have sounded like without trying to be a hater on me. And I really feel it was a little hateration there. I was looking kind of good that day. And people get kind of upset when I walk in a room sometimes and I feel like I belong there. I shouldn't have to walk in a room and kind of cower back. You know, no, I belong here just like a size two person. Okay, but sometimes people are intimidated by that. They are. It's like with the nerve of you, how dare you, right? So she makes that comment. Don't be offended by what I'm about to say. But my sister used to be your size. And what's wrong with my size? Now, clearly, she had a problem with my size or she wouldn't have brought it up, right? I didn't say anything. I didn't even defend myself what I should have said was well what does that mean but i wasn't thinking she was going to say something about me i i don't know why i should have known something was coming i should have known but i wasn't thinking she was going to say something so hurtful and in the moment it kind of was like a oh because she was talking about something so painful that had happened to their family But as I reflected on it, I'm the kind of person I have to go back to my husband. I say, Jeffrey, such and such said this. What do you think they meant? And I actually told a couple of my friends about this and my sister. And my sister don't be playing. Okay. So I'm more like, oh, try to ignore. My sister more like, oh, no, that was me. That was me spirited. That was me. And she was right. She was right. I ask her the things that I already know that I need confirmation, okay? So we have to be more mindful. We have to. And that was rude. It was really a rude comment to make. So have I been fat shamed? Yes. Yes, I have. How about, oh girl, I wear a size eight. I wear a size five. And I'm not that vocal about, well, I wear a size 20, 22. I mean, the average person don't be like, oh, yeah, I wear 22 and proud of it. No. So what you wear eight? I'm happy for you. But you know what I mean? And I might be sensitive. I I may be the sensitive one. Okay. You let me know. Even nicknames that we give our children. Big so-and-so. You know, in Spanish, they say gorda or gordo. That means large, fat. Mi gordo. Me gorda. No, don't call me that. Don't call me that. Now, I've never had anyone call me that, but I have heard them refer to their children as that. But I'm just thinking about that. Me gorda. My fat one. Or me gorda. Me fat one. The girl. You know? How does that affect that child as they get older? How? Little nicknames like that. You know? Um, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. I, I may I may be and let me know 
if you think I am just being a little extra sensitive, but I don't think so. So let me tell you why I know I'm not. Let's go back to the topic of fat shaming again. So it, it really does have serious consequences, both mentally and physical, for the person that's experiencing it. Now, if you calling the person a name, you ain't thinking about it. You went about your day. The person that was talking to me, she went about her day, and I'm still talking about it a year later with you all on camera, on YouTube. She went about her day. She ain't giving a second thought of what she said to me. Okay? But for the person who's experiencing it, let's see what can happen. They can have feelings of shame, low self-esteem, depression, okay? It can also contribute to eating disorders and unhealthy behaviors. Some people cut, some people drink, some people binge eat. Well, I can't let people see me eat, right? Because they're going to talk about me. So I secretively will eat it and then vomit it up. You know, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. So when I talk about fat shaming, is it real? Yeah, it's real. It's happened to me. It will continue to happen probably. Or your cheeks. And I do love my cheeks. So I'm not mad about that. People pay good money for that. You know, but I have nice size cheeks. You know, I love them. Sometimes, sometimes people like to squeeze them. Not so much now, but I have had that happen to me. Even as an adult, people like want to squeeze my cheeks. But, um, and I don't really mind that. I don't, because like I said, I like my cheeks. But the point is, you know, we just have to do better. We have to. And if you, the reason I'm doing this video too is because I want you to really dig deep. I want us to, on this channel, I want us to think about things like that. Because it affects us even now at this age trying to lose weight. It does so you have to dig deep have you been fat shamed who fat shamed you do they continue to fat shame you real talk this channel is about real talk so fat shaming can happen in the workplace it can happen within the family as I already mentioned it can happen in school we talked about that right so it's all kind of ways that fat shaming happens it may be oh you got a flat butt oh you have larger boobs or breast size you know you're not proportioned correctly you're shaped like an apple you know oh your legs are so big i've heard that one before too oh girl you got some big legs on you and they are kind of juicy <laughs> they are kind of big that's okay i like my legs and like I said, I'm pretty comfortable in my skin. I like a little bit less of it, but you know, overall I'm pretty comfortable. But I just wanted to have this conversation about fat shaming. I really did because it's been on my mind and I know for a fact it has influenced me in my weight loss journey for years, for years. So now I'm bringing it out in the open. And if you've made some of these comments that I talked about, again, I'm not purposely talking to you, but maybe you can learn from it somebody else can learn from this you know so fat shaming is a thing it's a thing so until next time guys this is healthy life with kimmy i'm out